Hi everyone, today I'm showing you this really pretty, easy, glittery look that I did within 15 minutes. I was going out to eat with my friends and I waited till like the very last minute to start getting ready. So I figured I would do this look in 15 minutes and go ahead and film it. And I love how it came out. I'll definitely be doing it again. There's just a little clip of me starting out my timer. But I am using this glow serum to prep my face. I got it from TJ Maxx, but they do sell it at Urban, which is pretty neat. I will leave all of the products that I'm using down below. I just can't be bothered with remembering the names of some of these stuff. Um, but I am going to use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and put that all over my face. I wanted my base to be super, super glowy because I am going in with a matte foundation. So just prepping everything, making sure that my underneath is really glowy so that everything can glow from within. Now I'm taking the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and applying that with a beauty blender. Again, or not a beauty blender, a Real Techniques complexion sponge. Um, but again, I am just making sure that my base is really, really shiny. I don't usually use the Custom Cover Drops, but I love how they look, especially worn under makeup. I'm now using the Fenty Foundation. I really like the look of all of this shiny glowiness going on underneath the Fenty foundation, especially for a nighttime look. Since I knew that we were probably going to be taking flash photos and stuff, sometimes when you're wearing a lot of highlight over top of your face makeup, you will look oily and you might have like some serious flashback, which I mean, to a sense would be nice because everyone loves a really nice highlighted look. But when you wear all of your highlight underneath your foundation, your matte foundation, it really just makes you look so dewy and beautiful, especially in photos. It's really nice and I highly recommend you try that out if you are interested in achieving a look like that. I'm now using my Urban Decay Weightless Naked Skin. I don't, I never remember what the full name of this is, but it's my favorite concealer of all time. In my opinion, it's the best concealer that gives me full coverage or medium coverage while still looking like my skin, while still having that nice sheen but not looking shiny. It's just beautiful. I love it. Sometimes I don't even worry about setting it, but I am setting it now. I'm using the MAC Set Powder and applying that with my complexion sponge. So now I'm going in and doing my brows. I can get away with doing my brows very lightly and quickly with the brow powder because I know that I'm going to go in with a tinted brow gel afterwards. And the tinted brow gel that I am using is really pigmented. So I recommend that if you are in a time crunch to go ahead and use a really pigmented tinted brow gel. That would really save you a lot of time, especially because brows for me personally is one of the most time consuming things that I do in my makeup routine. Now I'm taking my bronzing powder and putting it in my crease as an eyeshadow. I like to do this sort of thing when I am in a rush because I know that my bronzing powder is right there. I could use it as eyeshadow then quickly just go use it as my bronzer and I don't need to pull out eyeshadow palettes and find something that I want to use. It's just really easy so I recommend that if you are in a time crunch or you want to use minimal products to save yourself time just to go ahead and use your bronzing or contouring powders as eyeshadow. Now I'm using the Glossier Lid Star and Fawn. I love these lid stars because they are really quick and easy. Just swipe it on the eyes and pat it in with your fingers and you have like a one and done sort of look and that's going to last you a really long time. The lid stars don't crease so I can just confidently wear this look without worrying about any creasing or things separating. These lid stars are really great and foolproof. I love them. So I'm just patting it into my eye, making sure it's nice and blended out. And I am going to add some glitter. So I'm using the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Glitter thing in Smoldering Satin. I felt like it paired really nicely with the Fawn shade. And I got a lot of compliments from my friends when I wore it last night. I just think that these glitter and glow eyeshadows are really great, mess free, easy to apply, which is all really great for when you're in a rush. And of course, they look really nice and it looks like you've taken a lot of time on your look when really all you did was pat some glitter on your eyelids. But now I'm using this mascara from Ardency In. If you're familiar with the brand it used to be on Sephora, but I don't think they sell on Sephora anymore. 
Um, but they do still have products out there on their website and their website goes on sale for 70% off literally all the time. So that's how I got this mascara. I'm a big fan of it. It makes my lashes look really, really nice, long and black. And I got it for 70% off. So if you're interested, definitely go on their site and see if they're doing a sale. If not, definitely just go ahead and wait till they do a sale because they will definitely do a sale. Now I'm going in with the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, bronzing up my face. I opt to always just bronze up my face and do a little bit sculpting that way. I don't ever usually do sculpting and bronzing or contouring and bronzing. I just feel like it's waste time and my face doesn't really need it all that much. I would rather just bronze and look really nice and tan. I'm now going to highlight my face. I always prefer to highlight underneath my blush. I feel like, again, in pictures, it looks really nice and it looks like you're glowing from within. You can't really detect the highlight. The worst is when I see someone with a stripe of highlight. I realize that you are trying to get your highlight to be popping, but you really need to blend that out. So if you ever think that you might be one of those culprits, of the striped highlight I definitely recommend you just put it up underneath your blush it saves you a lot of time of trying to figure out if your highlight looks bad or not but now I'm going in with this blush palette from NARS and just blushing up my cheeks I think that blush really adds a good look to the face if you were gonna skip bronzer definitely still go ahead and and blush up your face you want to add some color to it and now I'm going to be using that brow tint that I talked about. This is from Revitalash. Super pigmented, so it fills in your brows pretty nicely. And it also keeps them in place all day. It's seriously like glue for your brows, but it's like comfortable at the same time. I'm now using the Lime Crime Lipstick in Choker. I've been really loving my Lime Crime Lipsticks. I rediscovered them after I did a big decluttering and reorganizing of my makeup collection and I can't believe I forgot about these. I love them so much. And there goes the timer. The only thing left I had to do was spray my face with setting spray and then just be out the door. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the super quick easy glittery look and hopefully I see you next time.